Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sorting out my eyebrows. So I have neglected my eyebrows for such a long time right now. Like it's actually insane. This is the longest I've gone without plucking my brows. Usually I would like pluck my brows if I see a hair, I would just pluck it out immediately so I don't have to go through this whole process that I'm about to go through. But yeah, I have been neglecting them. So today I am going to share with you how I groom my brows and also how I dye my brows to get them in the best shape that I could possibly get them in. Without any further ado, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, subscribe to my channel, you know, do all the things that you know you're supposed to do and let's just jump straight into this video. I'm just gonna tuck my hair behind my ears because I actually don't know why I tied my hair like this is actually really stupid, but I did. So, <laughs> anyway, so the things I'm gonna be using is so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pluck and shape my brows and also wax them. So these are the wax strips that I use. These are the Mandy's ones. These are the face wax strips. So usually I don't really care about um, whether it says face, legs, bikini or anything. But when it comes to my face, I do tend to only buy the ones that say face because I feel like the wax could be a little bit soft on your skin versus the harshness of the one on your legs. So. These are the soft feel wax strips with soothing berry extract. 12 strips, 6 double sided. Oh my gosh, I was literally looking right at my tweezer and I didn't even notice that it was in front of me. So you're going to need a tweezer. This is a really old rusted one. You just need something that gets the hair out. You don't need the most fanciest tweezer in the world. And then some wax strips. Now this is what I'm going to use to groom my brows. I also, every now and then, I'll use those eyebrow blades, like the flat blade. But I just feel like it's not worth it because your hair grows back so quickly like I'm not sure if it's only me but when I shave anything the hair just grows back so quickly that's why I've just started waxing everything because at least then I've got a two week gap before I have to redo everything again so yeah I just prefer to wax because it gets the hair out by the roots and then it also lasts longer that's what you need for grooming the brows and then I'm going to be dyeing my brows afterwards I know that you shouldn't dye your brows after literally just waxing them but I'm going to because I do it all the time and it doesn't react badly at all so the product that I'm going to be using to dye my brow is this one this is the Refecto, the Refecto Sil, this brand over here this is what it looks like. This is the 3% 10 volume peroxide developer cream. And then I've got three different shades over here. So I've got natural brown. And then I think this is also natural brown. Just one that's been used more. This is also natural brown. This is from the Refecto Seal brand. And then I've got this one from Julienne. Which is midnight black. So I usually use this for my lashes if I want to dye my eyelashes. But I currently have... Um, I went for a lash lift just before lockdown. So my lashes were tinted and lifted all in one go and they are still quite dark so I'm not going to do that today because it's just pointless so I'm going to be using the Refecto Sil natural brown this is the color cream and then this is the developer 3% 10 volts and inside the box it comes with this little stick thing I just don't have the box anymore but it comes with a sticky thing like this and this is kind of just to get the dye in a straight line but if you don't want to use this you can always just go in and use an angled eyebrow brush or eyeliner brush or whatever you prefer to apply it with and then I usually use a disposable spoolie. It's on the floor. Great. <laughs> so then I also just go in with a disposable spoolie just to brush everything up and into the brows as well. Let's get started. You're also going to need a bowl just to mix your eyebrow dye in. So I'm going to start with waxing my brows. I only wax actually on the top of my brow and then I pluck everything else just because it's so much easier to get a more sharp and defined line when I pluck it myself. And then I also wax down my uni brow where I've got this giant pimple at the moment which is great and then yeah I'm not gonna really talk through this because I think everyone knows how to pluck their own brows and wax their own brows so I'm just gonna zoom you guys in this is gonna be really sore because look how much hair is here I'm 
also just using just like a little tip if you do have one of these um like vanity mirrors like this um one side of mine is a normal mirror and then the other side kind of zooms me up close so it kind of allows me to see more of what's going on in my face which is very bad for me being a pimple picker but <laughs> other than that when i'm doing my eyebrows it's very helpful so this is how i'm just going to do underneath my brow i will obviously pluck out a few as i go where i see but at the moment i'm happy with the shape underneath and i'm still gonna dye it so i don't like to make my eyebrow too thin i like to keep the shape that I've kind of got going and this is my natural thickness so I don't want to really mess with it and now I'm just going to brush my eyebrows downwards I'm gonna finish one eyebrow first like just with the grooming part and then I will move on to the dyeing part together I don't trim my brows it's really not something I recommend I've done it a few times I was really not a fan so I just decide not to do it anymore so now I'm just gonna go in with the wax strips this is what they look like so I'm just gonna warm it up in my hands because I know that it's a must to warm up the strip before pulling it apart and then also before pulling it. And then I'm going to pull it apart. It pulls apart very easily. I hope that these ones work because I usually don't use the Mandy's ones. So I'm hoping that it does work. And then I'm just going to place this on the top of my brow. So if you can't see this, I'm sorry, but just place it on the top of your brow. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this strip so that the way I place it is where I want it to pull off because I don't like that gap. It makes, it makes me confused. <laughs> so I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows downwards again. I think I got a bit of wax in them, but it's fine. We'll just use some oil to get rid of it. And I'm just gonna place this above my brow. I'm gonna warm up the strip some more. And then I'm going to support from this side because I'm pulling mm -hmm. this way. And I'm just gonna rip it off. I can't see the hairs in the pink wax, but it definitely did remove some hair and <laughs> you can't even see it on camera but yeah I can feel it remove the hair and I can see it remove the hair I'm just gonna do that on the top of my brow and I'm gonna put one down the side of my brow over here I'm gonna take the strip I'm gonna place it down the angle of my brow and when it comes to waxing I'm pretty sure it's general knowledge but if the hair is growing downwards you want to pull upwards obviously to pull it against its natural growth because if you just put it with its growth it's not actually going to rip it out so the hair's growing down, so I'm gonna pull up. These wax strips are actually really nice. They like don't hurt too much, but they hurt just, in, well, not, they don't really hurt. I don't know, I'm like kind of immune to waxing. When you wax your whole bikini area, you become immune to it on your face. I also usually, during my eyebrow routine, I also go and wax my own moustache if I am growing any hairs there. But at the moment, it doesn't look like I've got anything going on. So now I'm just going to take some wet wipes and just wipe any excess wax off and then i'm going to grab another strip and i'm just going to cut this off now before it sticks to my scissors and then i'm going to cut this in half because this is going to be for my uni brow <laughs> so my uni brow hair it grows upwards so i'm going to pull it downwards i feel like i should also cut the other side off with this it makes me so damn hard i don't know why few little hairs still there so I'm just gonna go in with my tweezer because I don't want to have to wax over the same area again so now we're gonna move on to the dyeing part and I'm super excited for this okay so on the box of the eyebrow dye it kind of gives you like a guide on how much to use but I kind of just eyeball it because it's not really that complicated so you literally just add the same amount of tint to developer like it's literally that easy so I usually just add the tiniest little like that and then, as you can see, it comes out like gingery almost. It comes out like a very warm brown, but then it develops very dark. So the same amount of product that I just put in there, I'm going to add the same amount of developer. Developer and tint. I might add a little bit more tint because I couldn't really see what I was doing. I'm just going to add a dollop more of the tint. One thing you want to do now, if you want to do this yourself, do yourself a favor. And if you are scared that you're going to mess on your skin, because bear in mind now this does stain your skin if you mess it on your skin. It stains your hands if you mess it on your hands. But obviously only for a short period of time. But if you do get it on your hands, it's going to stain your hands. So I'm warning you now, if you want to, put a thick layer of moisturizer or cream just around your brows but I'm gonna back myself right now this could go wrong but if it goes wrong it's okay I'm not gonna see anyone anytime soon the smaller the bowl the better because you literally need nothing or you can use a shot glass 
Okay, so you're gonna mix it together until it's like that in like a paste. And then you must brush your eyebrows upwards in the shape that you want them. Okay, so you can now decide if you want to use an angled brush or if you want to use the stick that it comes with, but I usually alternate between both because they are both very good and they have different uses, but it's honestly just up to you on which one you would prefer to use. But I'm going to go in with both and I'm going to start on the outside of my brow and I'm going to start with the angled brush first. And I'm going to try and do this as perfectly as possible. Always keep um, earbuds and cotton and baby wipes around for just cleaning up of the brow. And I'm basically just going to fill in my brows as I would with brow product. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Been trying to get all of you. Hi. We haven't talked in months. But that's alright. I was wondering if you wanna do Okay, so then when it comes to the front of the brow, I'm going to take the stick. For a drive, I just need some fresh air and an old friend. I'm so good that we started talking again. Yo, turn up the radio, I love this song. Remember when we used to stay up all night long? How's it been going though? How's a mom? The roads are so empty, this is so damn calm. If we stick on the highway, we can drive on. So that's kind of the shape I'm going for. It always looks more intense than what it really is, but I promise you it always ends up fine. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat We can drive around to the sky and see me If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat Okay, so I just realized I forgot to set a timer for this brow, but I'm guessing it's been on for about two to three minutes. Let's hope. <laughs> Otherwise, one brow is going to be darker than the other. I'm just going to let this sit on my brows for like another three minutes or two minutes. I'm going to put it for two and then decide. So I've just set a two minute timer on my phone. Okay, so I'm just, my timer just stopped, but I'm going to do another minute. I'm going to wipe this brow off and then do another minute on this brow. so amazing i love it that is honestly perfection like if you had to actually argue with me like you can just jog on.com okay so the time is done and i'm gonna wipe this side off now you guys my eyebrows look amazing I love the way they look. My main goal when I do my eyebrows is to try and get this one to look like this one. And I think I've achieved that today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, it was very super quick and super easy to make. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And that when you can get your hands on these products, you will be dyeing your eyebrows at home from now on. Because it is so much cheaper. I literally paid like for that whole set. And that is probably one of the most expensive like dyeing sets you buy. I probably paid like 300 rand in total for everything and I know you do get cheaper dyeing sets but I just found that the Refecto, Sil <laughs> the Refecto Seal one works the best and it's the one that I've used for many years. It works really well. It doesn't make you look crazy. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. I got mine at Diskim and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!